Dawn mist floats in the wind, sometimes thick, sometimes gauzy. It winds around Taiwan beech trees. Summer is not just a period of time, it is a state of being. This expanse of virgin Taiwan beach forest lies within Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve at the junction of Fuxing in Taoyuan County and Wulai in Taipei County. One of the reserve's main conservation species, the Taiwan beach, is found only on the region's narrow mountain peaks and its appearance here is what makes Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve unique. Originally widely distributed in temperate areas in the northern hemisphere, the Taiwan beech spread to Taiwan at the end of the last ice age. The species is listed under the Cultural Heritage Preservation Act as a rare and valuable tree. The Taiwan beech is deciduous. It changes face with the seasons. In spring, bare branches burst into life with new leaves. By the summer, the mountains have turned green under its lush foliage. In the fall, the leaves turn gold, creating the richly colored tapestry of temperate autumnal scenes. By winter, the leaves have fallen and gnarled beech branches appear starkly nude. This cyclical aging process transforms individual beech trees as well as the whole forest. In addition to interference by trekkers, the Taiwan beach faces several other problems. It is a relic species. In other words, its reproductive capacity is weak and its ability to spread is not particularly strong. According to reproductive research, we know that the Taiwan beach does not produce many seeds, very few at all. So a grave question mark hangs above the long-term survival of the population at Cha Tian Shan. <laughs> Professor O, oh, who is an expert on the species, is also worried that, in their eagerness to get close to nature, members of the public are damaging the forest unwittingly as they trek there. For instance, by treading around the exposed tree roots and diminishing soil aeration by reducing gas and water permeability. This is jeopardizing the survival of these forest plants. To remedy this, the Shinju District Office of the Forestry Bureau built a 3,700 meter long visitor trail through the giant cypresses within Lala Shan Forest Reserve on the southwestern side of Cha Tian Nature Reserve for visitors to see Taiwan's ancient trees. 22 giant trees along the trail have been listed and marked with interpretation signs. The walkway allows the public to come and look without trampling on and damaging the root systems and young shoots. The Taiwan red cypress, characterized by its dusty red color, is the predominant species in cloud forest areas. Growing in clusters to form giant tree groups, these trees grow extremely tall and are amazingly long-lived, often surviving for thousands of years. The giant cypresses at La La Shan are some of the best-known giant trees in Taiwan. They have been standing there for thousands of years, since well before civilization began. Besides the beaches and cypresses, the reserve boasts an unusual range of flora due to its unique geographic and climatic location at the meeting point of the northeastern monsoon and currents coming from the southwest and its isolated mountain peaks and abundant rainfall.
from the bottom of Jakong Creek at 300 meters above sea level to Lala Shan's Peak at 2,129 meters, the forest cover changes according to elevation. Along the mountain ridge, giant trees like the Taiwan Beach are accompanied by red stripe rhododendrons at their feet. Then comes warm, temperate, broadleaf mixed forest. This is where most of the reserve's flora lives. Dominated by the Taiwan red cypress, pine species like the Taiwan cypress, the Ranta fir, and the Taiwan hemlock intermingle with broadleafs. Standing tall and straight, these simple giants stand sentry as they have for thousands of years, strong and silent. Chinese cougar trees also share the sunlight at the top. These tall trees form groups and produce large white blossoms in July or August each year. Further down, the forest canopy is composed of Phagacea species. Dominant evergreen species are Mori oak, the shuttlecock oak, and longleaf chinkapin. It is possible to determine which animals live in this part of the forest from the bite marks on the nuts that litter the ground. Deciduous tree species like the Formosan alder and the mountain spice tree are evident where the logging road has been developed. Many large trees are festooned with parasites like Ariostegia parvipanata and manila formed dendrobium. Between the trees are vine species like Integrifolius hydrangea and the Alishan magnolia vine. At lower elevations, the flora becomes subtropical broadleaf forest. This is the home of the Lauraceae family, the fruit and flowers of which tend to be modest and easily missed. On approaching the river valley, the large-leaved Nanmu is the most representative species. Milk trees are also often found here. On the time scale of a great tree, a year is perhaps the smallest unit of time. But no great tree remains unchanged by the passage of time. At each season, the diverse plants of Cha Tian Shan and La La Shan put on an incredible display that reveals the richness of nature, attracting visitors from all over Taiwan. In early spring, the bright pink blossoms of the Taiwan cherry dominate the mountaintops, calling the sleepy forest awake and attracting flocks of tree babblers. Then, Alishan's sweetleaf bursts into a profusion of white blossoms with long stamens. 
The snow white petals of the mountain spice tree also vie for attention. While the Dutsia taiwanensis welcomes the spring with its blooms. The wheel stamen tree's green flowers sprout from delicate pink new leaf tips. And Taiwan miterwort plays its spring tune beside the creek, swaying gently in the breeze. As the sunlight filters into the forest, even the somber pines add a splash of color to the green canopy. The old inky green needles of the Taiwan hemlock come to life with a layer of youthful lime green needles, which highlight last year's mature cones. The elegant blooms of the common pleony, which grows at elevations of between 1,500 and 2,500 meters, almost spelled its demise when the flower was picked to near extinction. Now the species flourishes on the stone cliffs of Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve. If you look closely, you will see that the inflorescence of the Ali Shan Kalanthi growing beside it is equally beautiful. As the wind blows stronger and mist swirls thickly around the forest, the mountaintops resound with the low growl of summer thunder and lightning. Then comes the rain, and within the blinking of an eye, the cloudburst soaks the forest floor. As the first large raindrops fall, Impatiens Tiemeni spring to life. Their yellow flowers mark the spread of their territory. During the rainstorm, the forest reveals its magnificence in another way. Layers of plant cover at the base of the great trees prevent rainwater from eroding the soil. The plants hold the soil closely beneath their roots and convert the trickling flow into the clean, pure water drunk by the residents of Taipei and Taoyuan counties. After the rain, all the little seedlings push their way out of the earth for a rare glimpse of sunshine. Only the poisonous, many-flowered May apple, which is known as an antidote for snake bites, shrinks back in the dank underbelly of the forest. The sky clears and Formosan Michaelia open to the sun, while down below, Many Leaf Paris also opens its flower. The Himalayan Stachyrus's strings of green berries and the wild cherry's bright red fruit, ripe and glistening like rubies, attract wild birds. Each plant has its turn to participate in this glorious display of color. Some plants do not grow alone, but prefer to live high up in the great trees, where they receive sunlight and rain more easily. Epiphytic species, like the golden yellow flower dendrobium, do not harm the host tree, merely taking advantage of its height. But the mass of many-nerved mistletoe at the top of this alder is less polite, it is a parasitic plant that enters the bark and sucks out valuable nutrients and water.
compare to the longevity of the Taiwan red cypress, the lives of the Osnia longissima hanging from the branches, the lichen coating the rocks, and the fungi growing on rotted tree stumps seem transient. Though they complete their lifestyle in a matter of days, they perform a vital function by digesting fallen leaves, branches, and wood, replenishing nature's energy. In this flurry of growth, silently, and without anyone but the forest noticing, Autumn leaves her visiting card again. Some plants say goodbye to their youthful summer by shedding their leaves. Others greet the cycle of life with a bounty of seeds and fruit. Dominant phagacea bear clusters of seeds at this time, ready for fall's festival. This bounteous harvest would be incomplete without the many seed edesia. Its leaves fall away to give room to a mass of bright red berries which await dissemination by vivid Neltava and other carrier birds. As the autumn winds begin to blow, the Taiwan red maple turns a fiery red. The green maple puts on its own display too, giving the forest a last cloak of color before the bleak, cold winter months. As secretly as it came, Autumn departs without anyone see. Only the fallen leaves at the foot of the Taiwan beach dance knowingly in the wind. Bereft of its makeup, the twisted branches of the beach are still magnificent. The cold north wind plays tug of war with the warm spring sun. The excitement and tension that lay dormant in the forest comes to life again and it is spring's turn to come again. With the turn of the seasons, every organism plays its part in the process of biological succession. Only the ancient mountain can ever know all the tales of the forest. If you are lucky enough to walk in this forest and see the renewal of its trees and plants, Please remember that humans are an insignificant part of the forest and that every flower, strand of grass, rock and footprint within the forest affect the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystem. Let us work together to protect the earth and preserve its original glory so that generations to come can enjoy its beautiful forests.